Human rights and the fifth estate. They checked on the computer and they stopped my father. They didn't let him get on the plane. And they, my father got detained at that day and they set me on the airplane and I came to United States by myself. It's my first time to see someone so unrespectful, like treat my father unrespectful. I was shocked and I was so sad, I was angry. And I was very worried because I don't know what will happen to him. The government finally charged my father. They just published this news that they charged my father as a separatist. Because of the publicity of my father's website getting popular, also through this blog, people can know a lot of sings about Xinjiang, so I think that's why he fall in trouble now. First of all, uh, they will speak English to us, and then since we spoke Chinese, they said, how do you know Chinese? Because And we respond, because we are Chinese, so of course we speak Chinese. And then they would say, oh, you're from Xinjiang. And you can tell they feel um, they start being impatient. Like from their face, you can feel that. And they just they were in front of you, and then that time they will just go away or walk around and not being with you, helping with you for shopping anymore, like that. By creating this website, my father's website, he was trying to let more people know about the culture, and he wanted to also advocate that people should treat whatever whoever you are that you should be treated the same equally whatever you are Han Chinese or Uyghur or other minority ethnicity people so he wanted to he wanted Uyghur people can get same job opportunity and same of course the attitude should be like same when people meet each other like people can be communicate very well that's what my father wanted I want my father to get released soon, so I have to try whatever I can do. You think it might work, but you're it not might. sure. I'm not sure because we don't know how the, the government think. We don't know how they will do for the next step. I'm just trying all the way that can help him. barred from going to China. I flew into Beijing with a valid visa, passport, and I was put into detention at the airport and sent back on the first plane. Uh, clearly I am on a blacklist. One thing which has to be pointed out is that, you know, he very uh, 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 purposefully created this blog, which is in Chinese, in order that Chinese people could read about what was going on in Xinjiang and how Uyghur people felt. And it was really meant to be a, a forum between Uyghurs and Chinese as much as anything else. Um, he was interested in dialogue. Chinese readers, some of them, indeed, uh, were responsive. But, you know, it's a funny thing. When you have uh, um, websites like this, and when you have people posting like this, sometimes you'll get very nasty rejoinders. He's been arrested on trumped-up charges. I think he should be released, of course. Um, uh, as I said, I don't think it's possible for him to get a fair trial, and I certainly don't think the Chinese government would uh, 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 allow uh, objective and impartial observers to go over the evidence and uh, uh, to review uh, the trial.
when it comes to China now, there is an increasing silence. There are many institutions and many entities which uh, really do want a place within the Chinese economy. And we wind up with uh, uh, these palliatives that some people will say, oh, no, 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 don't protest, don't protest publicly. Um, uh, we need quiet diplomacy, which is, you know, the same argument that was made during the heyday of apartheid. Americans should care about this because a threat to free expression anywhere in the world is a threat to it everywhere. Free speech is a valuable and very delicate right, and it comes under threat every day in parts of the world, including in the United States. So we have a petition that you can sign. Um, there's an open letter that we put out from a number of prominent writers to the Chinese government calling for his release. There's also ways that you can help by putting out word about his case through social media, through your own Twitter account or your Facebook account, telling people what you know about the case.